Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to show you how we can create and configure web application firewall. Here is our objective. First I need to create an application load balancer. Actually in our environment we are already having two EC2 instances. I will attach those two EC2 instances to this application load balancer. Later, in front of this application load balancer, I want to place my web application firewall. So this web application firewall will be in front of this ALB and I will add web ACLs for this web application firewall. So here are the web ACLs that I am going to add for this web application firewall. One is to block bot traffic. Another one is to allow my IP address to access application load balancer. I can do this blocking bot traffic via AWS managed rule. And I can do this uh, allowing my IP address to access ALB via AWS custom rule. So here is our objective. Let's quickly get our hands dirty with this hands-on lab so here is my aws environment now if i go to ec2 if you see here here there are two instances both are public okay so now i want to create load balancer let's create that i want to create application load balancer so i can create this i will name it as alb1 so it is internet facing that is okay for me ip address type ipv4 here i need to select vpc we have only one vpc i am selecting it here i am selecting availability zones here i need to select security groups for it and uh, http at that is okay application load balancer so here it is asking me to select a target group right now i don't have any target group so let me create that uh, here i want to add these two instan instances to this target group okay HTTP Academy, HTTP 1, everything seems fine. I click on next. I want to name it as target group. Okay. I'm creating. So I want to attach these two instances to this target group. Okay, successfully created the target group. Okay, now I have successfully created the target group where I have attached uh, these two instances to that group. Now, if you come down to our previous step, here I need to select the target group. If I can refresh that, see here it is coming, target group. Okay, I'm attaching this target group to my application load balancer. I am creating it. See, successfully created load balancer. I want to view it. I think it's still being provisioning. So it will take around 5 to 7 minutes to create this load balancer and to come the state into active. Okay, meanwhile we can jump on to our web application firewall so if you can go to web application firewall it will look like this here i want to add my ip address so i am going to this ip sets and i am creating my ip set my ip i want to give my ip so i need to know what is my IP? Then dslreports.com. If I go to this page, if I click on 
tools then there is a my ip so it is my ip address so i want to give this address here slash 32 okay i have created this ip set okay you successfully created the ip set now i want to create web acl create web acl i want to create web acl for this application load balancer so i'm making name as web acl only then here we need to attach associated aws resources i will do this in later so here i can add either managed rule or my own rule so uh, in web application firewall we have a managed rule which is created by aws itself it has a lot of rules pre-built rules even you can select that uh, pre-built rule for your web application firewall also let's see that here i would like to add two rules one is one managed rule another one is custom rule created by me so here if you see there are paid rule groups and also there are free rule groups here i want to attach one aws managed rule which is amazon ip reputation list so uh, this will block sources associated with the bots and other threats so aws has its own threat intelligence it will regularly identify the bot ip addresses and all so i want to just block those bot ip addresses in order to access my application load balancer so i'm blocking them and i'm preventing bot access for my application load balancer so i am adding that rule that is fine now i want to add my custom rule also so i am setting my rule name as my rule matches the statement so originated from ip address in i want to allow my ip address so i want to allow access to the alb from my own ip address so I'm clicking on this so I want to allow I'm clicking on add rule so these are the two rules that I have created so default web ACL action only uh, any anything other than these two rules should be blocked I just want to allow my IP address to be accessible and I just want to block bot ip address to access my alb so these are my rules i am clicking on next and again i'm clicking on next oh everything seems fine i'm clicking on next so i'm clicking on create web acl so until now we have seen that i have created web acl that is fine here is my web acl now i want to attach this web acl to application load balancer oh let's see let's see that uh, I want to attach this to application load balancer. See here it is. Yeah, I successfully associated web ACL with ALB1. So, guys, in this way we can able to create and configure web application firewall in AWS. So that's all for today.